Shalom to you, let giving all praise and glory to you. How will Bashim Al Shai, Bashim Kokodash, and giving double honors to the elder apostles, the elder bishops, a great millstone who well peace and salutation to the election of the nation of Israel. Shemiah Machbun is a Machbun from the Great Millstone Plain Tables Camp located here in the city of Philadelphia. Ababa, I'm the Mighty Ma'ik. I'm the lesson little are we lesson. And we have this here, which is in current events here in Philadelphia, PA, here in Babylon, the Great America. You have it. A video game meetup turns into a brazen home invasion in Philadelphia. Three suspects want it. All right, so we're going to get into the story. Put out one moment. It was supposed to be a friendly meetup to play video games, but it quickly turned into something more sinister. Authorities are investigating a brazen home invasion robbery in Germantown, and they believe this encounter may have started online. Investigative reporter Chad Verdelli live now in the SAT Center with the details. Chad. Sarah, police say the victim was targeted on the social networking site TAG. Now they're looking for three suspects and trying to figure out if there are other victims. He had the gun set in my back. This man, who doesn't want to be identified, says the brazen home invasion happened in late June. He met a guy on TAG and invited him over to hang out and play video games. When shortly thereafter, two men stormed into the home with guns. He had the gun. He had the gun facing me. He grabbed me and he pulled me. And as he pulled me, he get, then he grabbed the back of my shirt and he walked me up the steps. The thief snatched some loose change in his gaming system. <clears throat> he took the digital hard drive and then he looked in. He looked by, he thought he was going to take this TV. I'm like, you can't look at that TV. You're not taking my TV. This is cell phone video from a neighbor of the suspects fleeing on foot. The victim says he then saw the man drive off in a BMW SUV parked in the alley. The complaint supplied the information from both the app and a cell phone number that the offender used. We utilized that information to come up with a suspect. That suspect is Colleen Johnson. There's an arrest warrant for the 20-year-old. Investigators have not yet identified his two accomplices but now detectives are trying to determine if the trio has committed similar home invasions. We're currently working with other divisions within the department and our partners from other law enforcement agencies to see if there could be other victims. And Johnson is facing robbery, aggravated assault, conspiracy, and other related charges. The message from police, turn yourself in. Lock you know, the message should be what the true message is right here. Instruction. Uh, Jake is very simple as you've seen the guy smoking some type of probably like a black and mile or something like that and just sitting at home playing video games for probably extended periods of time and he looked probably a bit older and such but uh Jake gotta uh, grow up too okay and this is going to be the book of Proverbs um and Eight and verse five it says, "O ye simple, understand wisdom, and ye fools, be ye of an understanding heart." Right, you know. Um, hey, understand this wisdom. Okay, this wisdom can uh, save you from making stupid decision. Okay, um, this is Proverbs chapter. 14 and 15 it says the simple believe it every word yeah we just gonna come over and play some video games first of all that site itself tagged itself why are you even on that's not even a common site to be on tagged you know uh so you know i think a tag i think of like like i don't know back when i was in the world i think you know it could be like like a dating kind of kind of site sorta if i'm not mistaken no, but uh, that, I, I don't think anything like good coming out of site called tagged, um, you know, because tag you're it, you know, you've been chosen, you know, by a criminal. All right. A wicked Jake. OK, so um, it says also a this is Proverbs 22 and three. It says um, a prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. Right. You know, you got to foresee the evil, which basically would be, hey, I'm not letting any old Jake come and play video games with me. Simple as that, you know. Um, but you have it where, oh, well, it ain't no harm in there. I'm bored. Uh, you know, my, my dude might have said, hey, we can smoke some 
some blunts or something like that, and, and that might have could have enticed him too, because we don't know all that was given on to him. You know, but you got to get this wisdom. This is Proverbs chapter one and four it says, uh, "Start a bit above." This is uh, Proverbs one and one. It says, "The Proverbs of Shalomar, Solomon, the, the son of David, the king of Israel." To know wisdom and instruction, to perceive words of understanding, to receive the instruction of wisdom, justice, and judgment, and equity, to give subtility to the simple, to the young man, knowledge and discretion. Okay? So you get this truth, this knowledge, and it gives you subtility. I Rama is for subtility, going to prudence, having uh, craftiness, you know, uh, this in a good sense, discretion. Uh, guile, in case shrewdness, um, you know, you having good judgment, okay, simple as that, you know, um, it, it, it's like, um, like a lot of pro the things that I learned in the scriptures, you know, I think of it like having uh, the ultimate form of what they call street smarts, you know, because you know about how the dark sides work out on the streets in the real world, you know, where like a lot of people, you know, um, they might not know the streets or know the area or know about, you know, wisdom or what, how people, uh, you know, operate. And then, it, you know, have you in a situation where you easily can be gullible or simple, going into that word, uh, p p uh, pathia, all right, which uh, pathia uh, goes into being simple or naive and open-minded. You just letting some Jake in the house, especially <laughs> some dreads. Like, dude, you, that's that's super simple, okay? That you just met online. Like, that, you could have got destroyed, like, literally. Like, come on, man. Like, that's stupid. So, um, I'm going to uh, get a couple scriptures as well. You know, when you actually meet people and stuff and all of that, there's there's a, um, a actual degree of... Um, a vetting, okay, that you bring the person through, okay, uh, vetting, let's look up the word vetting, make a careful or critical examination of something to investigate someone through, especially in order to ensure they are suitable, right, um, and you have it uh, requiring secrecy, loyalty, or trustworthiness, Okay, so vetting is like a uh, kind of like a background check. We're going to see what this person really is. Okay, you're going to scrutinize it. Okay, so, you know, that's uh, what it is. You know, get intel on a person because everybody ain't who they say they are. You know, they could be somebody totally different. You got, <laughs> um, I'm watching this movie um, on uh, Netflix Damn, I forget what the name of it is called. And it's not going to give me it right here on the app. Yeah, it's not going to give me the name of it on the app. But um, I'm watching this movie. And um, they had a, a woman, this this guy. You know, he, um, you know, maybe Lord will I'll put it in the description box or something after the video. But um, you had this guy, um. You know, he didn't know about this woman. This woman, he met her, you know, you know, kind of trying to provide a service for, you know, uh, some type of accessing of memories, past prior memories and stuff, uh, do some form of technology. But um, he ended up falling into a uh, love spell with her, and then she just disappeared out of nowhere. And then in that whole process, um, she was uh, so uh, uh, crafty, she was able to steal... Uh, certain memories or something uh, from the particular individual from like like he had like a vault and they had the different uh, you know individuals memories and stuff uh, yeah he, he, he was able to she she was able to do that able to even figure out the code to get access to the vault you know um, it, it was only something that um, he knew but she ended up fig catching on to, to get what it actually is you know, and that's, uh, that's some heavy, uh, you know, um, um, witchcraft on that side, you know. A lot of people uh, of ours are real good at, uh, especially women, uh, tricking a man, you know. So you got to watch out for 
that deceptiveness with a woman, her hands as bands and stuff, man. You know, you meet a woman, like I say, she seems so uh, into you and stuff uh, at first and easy to go. You know, like, you like, damn, you know, you got to watch out what she might bring. She might bring, you know, uh, you know, some some type of uh, calamity upon you. All right. So you have to scrutinize and be very vetting of people. Now, we are getting to that in the scriptures real quick, very briefly. Um, let me get one. This is also a suddenly no man. This is the book of First uh, I, I can start. Yeah, this is uh first uh Timothy's Yeah, first Timothy's five and twenty one. I charge thee or order thee before the power and the Lord Yahushai Mashiach and the elect angels. When I say Yahushai Mashiach, if you're not uh, in the knowledge you should know that means Yahushai is the the pure true name and only name of the Lord. His only begotten son is Yahweh Shai, which means he deliver. Hamashiach is a title. It says Christ, but it's Hamashiach, which is in the Hebrew. This is all in Hebrew we're speaking. Um, you know, the Bible is translated. Uh, Hamashiach is the anointed one, okay? And the elect angels, okay? The select chosen angels. That thou observe these things without preferring one another doing nothing partiality and um you know it gives different um things okay you can read a bit above okay now uh it tells you um how different things uh continue being uh like christians and you know basically conduct a lot of different things um you know, the scriptures give us a heads up, all right, concerning different things, elders, etc. But it says, lay hands suddenly on no man, neither be partaker of other men's sins, keep thyself pure, right? So, one thing is not to lay thy hands suddenly on no man. Don't be quick to just, like, have, all right, this is my pal, you know. They have to go through a process, Okay. Lay hand suddenly, lay. Which we'll go into. And it says, neither be partaker in other men's sins. Keep thyself pure. Yeah, you got to keep yourself holy. Okay. But you got people you meet too. That, um, you know. They might even um, show a, uh, like, as if they are godly, but they're not. You know, they, as the scriptures even tell you, Satan himself has transformed himself into an angel of light. You know, and uh, you have some Israelites, like I said, they'll try to be, um, they'll try to be as if they're, you know, followers of the anointed one, Hamashiach. You know, they follow the law, statutes, and commandments, and they be wicked, Okay. And, you know, this could go even, like I say, you have people in the world that might see you or might just uh, be, uh, like they say, they predators and they pre predator upon someone that's gullible, all right, that have certain things. Like in this case, hey, they said he was coming over to play video games. A dude wanted a PS5 and a TV just so that they can sell it and make, you know, money, you know. But you have to vet a person okay so we're gonna go into that real quick um all right this is the book <laughs> if that was getting a friend Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Sirach chapter 6 and uh, 7. It says, If thou wouldst get, wouldst get a friend, prove him first and be not hasty to credit him. Right, you you get a friend, you gotta take him to a trying, a testing process, you know, to examine who he is. It was as an active experiment, you know, but you have to um, do it surgically. Okay, there's different things that you know a dude's gonna do. It's gonna show red flags. Okay, you gotta be on point, man. You know, pray the Lord show you. All right, reveal this man. You know, if he has any ulterior motives or stuff. All right. Um, you know, I, I even like when brothers uh, are to uh, try to, you know, um, you know, be around us. They go through a process, okay? So to be into a camp, that is a process. You know, I had to go through a trying process, tests that I had to pass uh, to show, you know, that am I really um, a potential man of the Lord? You know, so you, know, you go through a process. And it's, 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 hey, it's ever renewing too, man. But it says, for some man is a friend or a brother for his own occasion and will not abide in the day of thy trouble. Okay? You know, you got some dude for his own occasion. I just want to be his friend so I can get close to him. You know, and then, you know, if I see he got money, I want to get his credit card information. I want to um, get this out of him, um, you know. Whatever it might be, you know, it could be different things. He, you want to learn certain stuff, certain stuff. Like you got a, a certain cheat code that can help his life, you know. Uh, but you don't give to everybody. He uses it just to get it, and then he leaves. You know. Yeah, women they'll just get what a dude just to, you know, get you know. Like she might want a handbag, <laughs> but it says. Uh, yeah, it goes on to some more, but I'm going to leave it simple. We're going to go uh, to this next precept. Uh, this is Ecclesiasticus, the main precept. And, um, you know, for this lesson, it says, Ecclesiasticus chapter 11 and 29. Bring not every man to thine house, for the deceitful man hath many tra trains. That's right. Bring not everybody in your house, okay? Yeah. You know, and your, your, your place where you reside... Should be a, a holy place anyway, you know, separate from anybody just entering. You know, you know how you was, uh, you know, in your mom's house and you know, are your, you know, really your father, or, you know, you, you, your house you grew up in, you know, not everybody could come in, you know, and it, it say like if you had like friends and stuff like that, your friends had to be approved by your parents by usually them knowing you, the, the other people's parents are meeting them. In order for them to come over, right? They didn't even get to get over. You can't bring Ray. Ray got to stay outside, you know. So, hey, <laughs> this is a a virtue of us being Israelites, okay? To not to bring every man into thy house, okay? For the deceitful man have many chains. Yeah, it, uh, it you know a person that's misleading and a trickster, he coming with falsehood. Yo, hey, he got more wickedness. Uh, behind him okay you know he got more things he's up to okay I've had you know uh, time pass a kid just my mom you know she meet with uh, become friend with a low level project chick the project kid comes over my house see that I got video games he has no money and barely any video games he get he goes and, and he he be like nice and try to make me feel sorry for him because he don't have no video games and stuff like that. I mean, I had abundance of it at the time. The kid ended up basically convincing me to give him his game so that he can trade him in to allegedly get like something else out of it. But I think the the dude just basically sold sold the stuff and, and for money. And, and, and um, whatever he did, he pocketed it for himself. And I was just sitting there looking stupid. And then my mom was like, what happened to your stuff? And I was like, you know, I gave it to this kid. You know, and she was mad at me or something like that. You know, and I learned my lesson. You know, you can't be uh, kind and, and loving to everybody, okay? <laughs> That's another thing, too. You know, of course, that all possible, they're peaceful amongst men. But, 
you know, you can't waver, um, like, as they say, why thou seekest, why thou trimmest thy way, or mend your way to seek love, you know? Jeremiah chapter 2 and 33. Why trimmest thou thy way to seek love? Therefore hast thou also taught the wicked ones thy ways. Okay? Trimmest. Your tub. Alright? Being uh, pleasing. Accepting. Amending. Okay? You changing. You know? make Being pleasant. You know? Just to... You know, to get somebody to like you, you know, whatever it might be. Yeah, you can come over my house. We can play some video games. You're looking for some type of friendship, and these dudes are looking for money. Uh, they're looking for, um, you know, substance, okay? They say you got these guys, they they, they just scammers, okay? Watch out for these scammers out here, okay? Scammers come a lot in Jake. Jake is wicked, Okay? Two thirds is wicked. You know, you got wicked Israelites across the world. All right. Uh, let me get Jeremiah chapter nine. This is Jeremiah chapter nine. In verse 4, it says, Take ye heed every one of his neighbor or brother, and, tr and trust ye not in any brother. For every brother will utterly supplant, and every neighbor will walk with slanders. Yeah, you know, he, he can easily get one over over you. Why? How? By being sly, being uh, tricky, you know. He's circumventing your, your senses, which would be wisdom, uh, just by getting you emotionally to to agree with him. Okay? Come yeah, I can come over. I'm cool, man. Look at me, man. You know? Check me out. I got a you know, Mercedes or whatever it might be. You know, you gotta watch out, man. You know, you gotta watch out when also people are really overly uh nice and stuff sometimes. You know, because it could be disingenuous too. You know. You know, I know this is like Jake, especially myself, it can be very, 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 um, you know, like, uh, like helpful and stuff, but, and, um, you know, I gotta watch out because, you, you know, people in my past have, have, uh, tried to overmaster and, uh, and like, as it, as it going to taking my kindness for weakness and taking advantage of the kindness. You know, so thanks to the knowledge, uh, I'm able to arm myself and protect myself from being supplanted. All right. It says, and they will deceive everyone, his neighbor, and will not speak the truth. They have taught their tongue to speak lies and worry themselves to commit iniquity. All right. Wickedness. All right. So that's the lesson due to spirit. We see what it is about. Uh, Shalom. Watch out. And hey, as they say, a lot of you been, hey, put away... I thought as a child, you know, but when I grew up, I put away childish things. You know, y'all got to uh, put away uh, being stupid, okay, <laughs> and foolish and be wise, okay? Can't just play video games with anybody at the, uh, um, at the arcade, <laughs> but shallow.